Welcome to another exciting day of geocaching. It's November 6, 2022. Here we are again, Bob, Charlie, and Simon. Today we're going to go out to some of the surrounding communities. We're going to go out of the city and into the smaller towns. So we're going to do some small town geocaching because we haven't done that yet. So, mm -hmm. And it's a little warm again. I mean, we had some cold weeks there for a while and now here it is. We're getting into early November. The trees have lost their leaves and now it's warm again so yeah so last week we had frost we don't mm -hmm. have frost today so i got a jacket on but this might be a little bit too much for the temperature i think it's um gonna get warm pretty quick here so we're how far are we away about three tenths of a mile yeah from our first location okay. so in this town things are spread out a little more than at some of the other locations we go to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on one end of the town and we're gonna circle around. We're gonna go west and then north and then east and south and then back here. So we're gonna do a circle around the town and I think there's at least a half a dozen of them, maybe a little more. I don't remember how many there were, but, but we're gonna find them and um, then we'll be back. So, mm -hmm. see, you so there. see you then, all right, bye for now. We're walking to our first one here, kind of a quiet town, a little breezy too. So this is where you two, uh, did you two grow up here? I thought you, I thought you spent like 12 years here. Oh, you went to school here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you didn't actually live here for, for uh, 12 years, but you went to school here. So what are we at? Uh, how many, how far are we away? 85 feet. So we don't have any hints and there's nothing in the description that tells us where this is. So we're kind of going into this one blind. So I'm not sure what we're going to find. So we'll see. You, you say you found it? Yeah. Oh, wow. What is it? Like a... It's a little... A little container. magnet? A little... Yeah. That's a good um good catch. I was looking low. I didn't um uh, like I didn't look that high. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just take the off. You can't, it's screwed in. Oh, oh, oh my god. Alright, so you got a pen or you need to get it you got a pen. Alright. Alright, so this is our first one. We found it up right in there, so yeah. this is um Five, six, seven, or the eighth five. How many? Yeah, they were the eighth person to find it. Oh, we're the eighth person to find it. Like, what was the date? When did they put this one out? Did you see when the first one was? Right here. Uh, 6-6-2022. 6-6-2022. Six, 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 okay, so it's fairly new. All right. All right, we're going to go on to number two. We're heading... We're walking through town. We're heading to the next next location. So you said uh, how far? Four, four tenths of a mile. So, all right. Alleys are spooky. Spooky alley. Nothing, nothing spookier. Nothing spookier than a small town alley. <laughs> Right next to the spooky alley. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense, actually. So, all right. So, got a little ways to walk. All right. So, we're about 500 feet away from the next one. Yeah. So, some good scenery here. So, it looks like the next one's in this park here. Yeah. So, you think it's across the road? Yeah, I think so. Maybe, how, how far do we have now? Maybe it's in that uh, sign up there. I don't see any traffic coming. Right. You what? Pretty slow town today. Yeah. I'm sure it'll pick up. So I'm heading straight for the sign here. Maybe. Checking the sign, but how far? What's how far are we away? Uh, 
51 feet. 51 feet, so this is probably not it. Which way? This way. Just keep going? Mm -hmm. A little stump here. Hmm. What's your hint? Yeah, what is that? There's hint? no hint. No hint? So, I didn't get a ping. Did you get a ping? No. Maybe it's in this fence. Oh, it's right there. You see it? It's right there. Ah, on the ground. Yeah. It was supposed to be in a tree. Yeah, it probably fell out of the tree. Yeah. So we can maybe, I usually like to put things back where we found them, even if we found them on the ground, but maybe we can just hang it from one of these branches. It's pretty we secure, too. Yeah, we got a log in there. Yeah. What else we got in there? Looks like we got some more stuff in there. We got a log and a wet piece of paper or... Oh. Oh, it's Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey. Yeah. Why? Uh, maybe he's doing that. Oh, it a... says Love Family Feud bloopers. Huh. Um, okay. All right. Oh, these are a little damp. They're not oh. damp. They're, like, dry. Oh. So, yeah, we're going to put... We put this one back. We didn't really put it back, but we think because it was on the ground, it had fallen from that the tree here. So, yeah. so we stuck it hanging from a branch here in, in the tree. So we're hoping that that's where it was meant to go because it was falling right below and on the ground. Yeah. So what we do is we make, we make a note in the log to say that we found it on the ground and we stuck it where we think it should go. And then the person who put this geocache here can see our comment and then maybe come out and check to see if we put it back where it belonged. So, yeah. so all right, Simon's, uh, Simon's putting this find into the app, so. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna, but for maybe what we're gonna do, I don't know if we were deciding, because these are pretty far, each one is pretty far apart, we were thinking about possibly um, maybe going to the car, or do you want to just keep on walking? So we want to go back to the car, maybe drive, or do you want to keep on yeah, walking around? Like a good idea. Maybe we can just want, yeah. go back to the car, or and we can um, drive to some of these more distant. Also, probably this will maybe our last week for a while that we'll be doing these together because the next couple of weeks. Um, got some plans. Yeah, Charlie and Sam got some plans. So we probably won't be out doing it next weekend. And then the weekend after that, I'll be heading out of town. And then it's Thanksgiving. So you might not see us for a few weeks. So hopefully we'll get a few good finds yeah. to show you today. Um, you might not see us for a while. but uh, So yeah, so we're going to maybe head back to the car here and then drive to some of these other locations. So we'll be back. All right, so we we drove to the next spot and we're gonna go out and uh, find our next one. Yep. All right. So we're looking. And uh, back of the sign for the village saying that you're entering the village limit. So we think maybe it's back here. How far are we away? We're probably not too far away. 20 feet? 20 feet. X. Huh. Anything on the back of maybe a magnet back here? I'm looking at it. Huh. So yeah, I don't know. This is a... A little challenging here. All right, so we don't seem to be able to find this one, and the coordinates seem to be a little off. Yeah. So the hint was, if X marks the spot, what does a rectangle mark? So we were thinking maybe it would be on the back of the sign, because we're here at the sign. We're in the back of the sign here for the, I don't know if you can see it in the video here, for the village. 
um, you know, welcome, welcome to the town kind of sign. We thought maybe it'd be on the back of that, but we don't seem to be able to find it. So you look and you don't see it there. And then when we look at where the coordinates take us, the coordinates take us out here, back over here into the field. And there's nothing back there but a bunch of leaves and grass. So, and in the description it says this one's a little bit of a tricky one. And I think they got us on this one. So we weren't able to find this one. So we're gonna, we're gonna drive to the next spot. So we'll be back. We're gonna let this one go though. So, all right.